Hey guys, welcome back to Node.js series. Uh, this is part number nine. This video was kind of preparation for the next video. Next video, we are going to build our first app uh, for this Node.js series, which will be like a grocery list application where you can add things into the grocery list uh, from the command line, which will be saved in, inside a file. So in this video, we're gonna learn how to actually pass parameters through command line to the node application. If you have not been following the entire series, please do so. Uh, I'll provide a list in the corner here. And welcome to TechSit Tutorials. I'm sure most of you have used some sort of CLI. Angular has a CLI. And I'm sure if you've used Angular, you have probably seen something like this, ng-surf. Or if you've used like a create react app, then you have something like this, create react app uh, start okay these are all the cli commands so what really happens here when i call start it actually takes this argument and parses so create react app is actually node application and it has to understand which command it needs to run so we can do similar for our application so i've created this app.js here and we are going to uh, write some commands and we're gonna do similar things. But instead of writing create react app, I can write node app. Again, you can build your own CLI, you can have a name for this, but I'm just gonna use node app since I'm running this app.js. Then I'm gonna have some command called fly. So it's telling the application to fly. Now in order to catch this, um, if I go inside the app.js, I can say console.log, and remember we looked at uh, process which is a global variable in node and it has an, a property called org v org v means argument vector and so if i run this node app fly it actually converts the command into an array so i have three items here and the array also has three items. The first, as we as we see, it's node. Second is app, and the third is fly. So the node is just a location of the node. App is the location of the app, and the, the command is fly. So if I want to get this command fly, I can simply get it here by because I know it's a second element. So now if I run this, I will get fly. So this is how I can extract this argument. Now what I can do with this argument is I can say, okay, if I have a command fly, I can do fly. So instead of console log, what I can do is I can have a command equal to process dot arg we two. So this, uh, this is how I can capture the fly command. And then I can say if command equal to let's say fly, then I need to be flying. Obviously, we are not going to build a fun functionality for flying, but we can just print this out. Okay, so now let's look at this. So if I run it again, it says flying. Now similarly, if I have another command called drive, so node app drive, I would have to say else if uh, command equal to drive then i need to console log drive so now if i run this i would get drive but as we know the command line usually is a little bit more complex than this because if i i can have a command called drive but then there there might be some other arguments like how fast i want to drive and what car i want to use so i can have something like this uh, speed equal to let's say 30 miles per hour i can have a car equal to let's say nissan okay but if i still run it says driving because it's not capturing all these other arguments and let's say console log the process arg we again as we expected since this argument has this cli has one two three four five arguments it actually makes an array with five elements. Now the problem is, as this things gets more and more complex, 
you have to parse all this information, which becomes very complex. So yes, you can use argui, but there is a better way to do it. And as you know, if you need some functionality in Node.js, there's always a package somebody else has built. And so before you try to build your own functionality, see if, it's, if there's a package available. And luckily for this, there is a really good package available, which is called Yargs. So I have to have, first of all, I have to do npm init. And when I do that, it creates a package.json here. And then I would say npm install yargs. That's the package we are trying to install. And I would say dash dash save. So it saves into my package.json. Okay, so now if I look at my package.json, I would see yarg as a dependency. Now again, you have to pick a version of yargs that, that fits with your world, but I just got the latest one. Now, instead of process.arg, we we are going to use yargs dot arg we so i need to import this yarg so i have to say const yargs equal to uh, require and yargs so now if i run this i would get an associative array uh, it's an object uh, where the if you analyze this it figured out that i am looking for my argument my command command which is drive which is a property underscore then it actually finds out all the property that i need speed and car so now let's put this code back and instead of process dot args we we can do yargs dot argui and instead of two I would have to pick dot underscore because underscore will always give you the command. Actually, uh, the command would be an array because as you can see, the underscore is nothing but an array. So I need to get the zeroth element here and then I will be able to run this. So now it says driving. Now, if I wanna uh, catch the other argument like car and speed, I can say, if command dot speed and and command dot car if it has both well I should put it inside the drive on the fly then I want to print so instead of regular driving I would say I can use a template string say driving then I can interpolate command dot car at the speed of dollar sign command dot speed else just print driving okay so let's run this again actually here I need uh, let prompts equal to yargs dot arg we and then instead of command I should use params because command is not command is actually giving me the the zeroth the, the the actual command which is drive so i i'm looking for parameters so now if i run this i would get driving nissan at the speed of 30. i can say miles per hour or whatever but yeah this is how it really works all right so now that we have understood how the file system works how external module works how to pass commands into your applications now let's build a small application before we move further so next video we are going to build a small grocery list application where we can 
pass thing into the grocery list via command line. And I hope you learned something new from this video. And if you did, please like. Don't forget to like before you move further. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you can help me translate this video. It's pretty simple. The instructions should be in the description. Thank you.